Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my December wrap up for you all. So I read three books in December, which I'm pretty proud of because it was really busy work-wise over the holidays, especially just working retail. Holidays are crazy. So I am super glad that I was able to even read three books. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the books and tell you what I read. The first book I read was A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. This is the fourth and last book in the Ember and the Ashes series and oh my goodness I loved it so much. I gave it five out of five stars. I cried. My heart broke. I was literally grieving as soon as I finished this book for like five days where I couldn't even touch another book because I just could not stop thinking about it, could not stop feeling all the feels from it. It was just so 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 good. As far as like final books go, I think this is probably the best finale I've read and I think this was just the only way it really could have ended for this series. I'm so grateful for Sabatier and for this series because it really got me through 2020 and honestly it just it made me realize like how much I love being a reader again like it just re-sparked that love for me and honestly re-sparked my love for YA fantasy because for a while there I was just reading straight up contemporary and then I started this book and it just rejuvenated that spark uh, for that genre and I am so grateful to it for that because if, ever since this I have not stopped picking up fantasy and I love that for me. I'm obviously not going to go into any spoilers because this is the last book but I wanted to say if you have not read this yet please prepare your heart for some heartbreak because not everybody is gonna obviously come out in the end and it's just so like I'm like getting emotional just thinking about it again but yeah, just please, please prepare yourself. But also, like, expect a really good ending at the same time. All right, so the next book I read was When Dimple Met Rishi by Sonia Manan. I gave this five out of five stars. I thought this was really cute. I thought it was a really fun story. So it's about a girl named Dimple who doesn't really want to date, doesn't really have an interest in boys. She really just wants to get her career started, wants to dive headfirst into her love for technology and uh, computer programming and she just wants to make a name for herself in that career. Whereas her family wants her to marry and at least date and become like a good, I don't want to say housewife, but they just want to have her set for her life basically. And so they end up setting her up on a blind marriage meeting almost. They send her to a like tech camp and they send her potential match Rishi to that same camp his family does and from there shenanigans ensues because she has no idea she's being set up while he knows everything except for the fact that she has no idea so that initial meeting was so funny to me I thought it was hilarious because she had no idea he thought she knew and he, she freaked of course but Otherwise, I thought this was super cute. I'm excited to continue on with these books because they just brought me so much joy and made me smile and I'm definitely looking forward to reading the companion novels um, and more just from Sonia Manon in general. So definitely recommend if you're looking for a cute contemporary. All right, and the last book I read was Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. So I gave this five out of five stars. <laughs> It made me feel so much. So the beginning of the book and the ending of the book really got me going. The middle of the book was a little bit of a struggle for me because there wasn't just a lot happening. 
But I feel like once I hit that stride towards the end, I really got going and really got back into the story. Definitely looking forward to seeing what happens next in King's Cage. This is the second book to the Red Queen series, if you don't know. And I don't want to go into it because it's definitely spoilery. But let's just say I was definitely rooting for Mare. I'm very protective of Mare at this point. And I feel like everybody else needs to just get their stuff together while she like leads them towards freedom, basically. So yeah, definitely loved this. Definitely enjoying this series. And I'm so excited to hop into the next one and hopefully finish this series this year. All right, so that was my December wrap up. I am so glad that I read these books because they definitely brought me joy during the Christmas season, during the winter season, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what I read in January. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. Also let me know a really good book that you read in December just to finish out your year. I would love to know what brought you joy and if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds